Can you actually see them in there? So this is the Hudson River Eel Project. And the goal of this project is, um, is really threefold. One, it's to help New York State count, assess, monitor the spring migration of juvenile glass eels as they come from the ocean to the estuary to creeks like the Hannah Brook. With the, you got it. I got one. Got one. All right. Little baby. Yeah, real glass. The second thing that we try to do is to engage people in citizen science or in community science in ways that people can learn about the environment firsthand with their own boots in the water. Uh, and the third thing that I think this project is doing is it's trying to build a constituency of people who know about eels, who know about estuaries, who know about their their local ecology, and are fans of it, are, are, are real, just sort of advocate for the American eel, a creature that many people find to be strange or ugly or slimy or scary, and it's none of those. It's just a piece of two-inch beauty. I moved here four years ago, so I wanted to get to know the local ecology because I've never lived here before. And this seemed to be a really good way to find out what's the creek about. I could learn from people in a very easy, relaxed way. And we're in waders. And we're in waders. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a wonderful way to learn about a creek, really. Absolutely. This is a monitoring project that a lot of groups up and down the Hudson do with the DEC. Uh, and what's great about it is it raises awareness of some of the wildlife that exists in these tributaries and also gets people excited about trying to protect their, their tributary or creek. I do a huge Keepers of the Hudson River Valley unit with my second graders. I've been doing that for about 12 years. So I was always teaching them about the life cycle of an eel. So I'm one of the people that pushed to get the project to move up north so that we could have people that care about the environment and students actually see real baby glass eels. The little ones are the glass eels and the bigger ones are the elvers. And I think it's really wonderful that anybody, a student of any age, can learn about something and have the opportunity of surprise. Right. Yeah. 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 They look like little wormies, huh?